What's up everyone, Dynamo here, and today I'm going to watch the Honest trailer for Batman Forever. And this was the first of two uh, Batman films that Joel Schumacher directed after Warner Brothers fired uh, Tim Burton after he made Batman Returns. I gotta say, that was God, that is the biggest mistake Warner Brothers has made when it comes to the Batman franchise, because hiring Schumacher, he made it like too kid-friendly and too ridiculous to be even taken seriously, especially uh, Batman and Robin. You know, that was the worst. But as far as Batman Forever goes, I think it's just decent, okay-ish. Not too crazy about it. So here we go. Honest trailer for Batman Forever. Go. From producer Tim Burton and replacement director Joe Schumacher <laughs> comes a Batman movie that replaces the 80s gothic look of the first two. Yeah. The ecstasy soaked fever dream of the mid 90s. Uh, uh, Jim Carrey, him I like. Yeah, this is definitely the worst movie I've seen 30 times. Batman forever. Why would you want to watch it 30 times? After human cure song Tim Burton made Batman cool for the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Put too much kinky stuff in the sequel to sell kids' toys. Warner Brothers picked Joel Schumacher as the pariah, er, director, to push the franchise in a more family-friendly direction. Holy rusted metal, Batman! Huh? But hey, if this is what we had to go through to get Nolan, take it away, Joel. Yeah, that's true. I'll persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir. I'll get drive through <sighs> Need Val Kilmer's unique take on Batman. He's not weird like Keaton. Charming like Looney, <laughs> intimidating like Bale, no. swole like Affleck, <laughs> or emotional like a human. <laughs> he does contribute one major unique trait to the Batman legacy. His mouth is always open. I've noticed that too. Like, <sighs> like what is that? <laughs> He's always like... I mean, bats do eat bugs. I guess that's one way to catch him. Wow. Watch Batman face to face. A man with face a to face. Threat half the time. <laughs> that is true. He is not a threat at the time. But there's also the onesie wearing Riddler. Jim Carrey at the height of his powers brings the same manic energy he brings to his other roles. <laughs> yeah, I love his energy. While Tommy Lee Jones makes the horrible choice to bring the same manic energy as Jim Carrey. <laughs> Why are it? Why is the scar purple? Seriously. One up each other on camera while the real drama was apparently going down off screen. He got up and hugged me and said, I hate you. <laughs> what? I really don't like you. Oh my. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the real as Batman faces his greatest danger yet. The only thing that could actually stop him for good. A therapist. <laughs> Dr. Chase Meridian takes her to uh, Nicole Kidman. As the latest bad girlfriend you'll never hear from again. Mm -hmm. brains, brawn, and she's not using either of them because all she does is perv out on a stranger in a rubber suit. You are interesting. Well, I wish I could be interested in you. Yeah, she does do that a lot in this. Professional. So Warner Brothers, you wanted to make this more kid-friendly, huh? Uh, the same origin story of the Robin name flew in like a Robin is still better than the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> Witness a mid twenties actor do his best to play a cool teen, complete with cool motorcycle and leather jacket, giant <laughs> '90s cool guy earring, uh, and something no one will ever make cool: laundry karate. Yeah, that scene was that scene was kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so witness the beginning of the end of the original Backwatch trilogy that put nibbles on the Batsu. Um the Goldsman's career and cut out the insane subplot. I've seen that. But survives today by hanging on to its three redeeming qualities: the thumbs up gif, <laughs> epic seal song, uh. and the fact that no matter what you have to say, it's not as shitty as Batman and Robin. Yes, it is not. <laughs> I, yes, I agree with that. Hello, Reddit. I am actor and artist Val Kilmer, AMA. A shoot up Starburst. Jim carries the movie. <laughs> Doctor Girlfriend. The Adult Wonder. Didn't sign up for this. The world's craziest laser tag arena. Uh. The Batman Yeah Guy. Uh. The Boiling Acid. 
Oh my god, I hated him. He was so annoying. What's that girl? Batman well? Batman begins to suck. Batman begins to suck. Did anyone notice Two Faces Layer only works if he's facing one direction? But they have to rearrange the furniture when he turns around? Right? Sunflower, three to the right, four to the left. Oh. Stranger Things reverence. I've been falling for 30 minutes. <laughs> Soup is just boneless cereal. I think that the Twilight Saga are the most amazing, beautiful movies ever made. And I would very much like to marry. Oh, you actually made him say that. <laughs> Now, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin are the two reasons why I never buy the quadrilogy of the uh, Batman saga of 1989 to 1997. The only uh, two films that I'm crazy about are just Batman and Batman Returns, and that's it. Now, to be fair, Joel Schumacher has made a few good films like The Lost Boys and uh, Phone Booth and maybe Phantom of the Opera Remake. But it's hard for me to overlook how he completely destroyed this franchise, even though he did apologize for it once or twice, but it just may not be enough. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to the Honest trailer for Batman Forever, and uh, tomorrow I'm definitely going to see the Justice League movie. It, I've been waiting for a while for it to come out, and it looks pretty awesome. Hit that like button if you enjoyed my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any suggestions of what I should react to next, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye! Oh, yeah.